Hello, kindergarten families. Um, for the past couple weeks, we have been planning our kindergarten virtual ceremony. So the purpose of this video is to give you directions on participation in the ceremony. Like you, this is not exactly how we would like this to go. We would much rather prefer to be at the high school um, and do our regular kindergarten ceremony, but instead these are the parameters that we're working under. So um, this is what we've come up with. Um, we will be delivering kindergarten care packages. Your kindergarten care package will be distributed um, to your family by someone that you know from the school. The care package includes a student cap, student certificate, a celebratory yard sign, compliments of the PTO, a message from your child's teacher, and directions for participation in the virtual ceremony. Yes, as, as Dr. Lashinsky said, this is certainly not how we, you know, hope to end the year, but we're just trying to make it a memorable experience for your child uh, while still following all the guidelines that we have to follow. So, um, and there are direct, there will be, these directions will be in your uh, child's care package, but just to kind of give you an idea of what, we're, what we have planned, uh, the directions are somewhat specific because we want the pictures to be consistent uh, so that the, the, as the video plays, it looks a little, somewhat uniform. Uh, so we're going to ask that you take a picture of your child uh, holding their certificate while wearing their cap uh, in landscape form, which is the horizontal way to, to hold the camera, and then submit that picture to your classroom teacher. An exception to that would be Mrs. Houck's students. Mrs. Houck, as you may know, is expecting a baby, so she might not be able to be able to get those pictures to us in enough time to, to create the video. So in Mrs. Houck's classroom, we're going to ask students to submit those pictures to me, and then I will add them to the video as I get them. Um, we are planning on delivering the care packages May 26th, 27th, and 28th. Uh, we are still waiting for the caps to come in and waiting for some other things to, to be put in place before we can begin to deliver them. Your teacher or Dr. Lashinsky or I will communicate to you uh, the date and window of time that your care package will be delivered uh, when, when we get the schedule made. So it might be something like May 28th between in the morning between 9 and 12 or something to that effect so that we can give you an idea of when we might be dropping it off. Um, if you would like to look out the window and wave or, or you know, wave you know, through the door or, or whatever, that's perfectly fine. If you're not comfortable with that, that's fine too. If you have any other concerns or issues, please don't hesitate to reach out and communicate to us so we can address those concerns. Um, as we both said at the beginning, it's certainly not how we wanted to end the school year uh, for kindergarten or end of the, six, the kindergarten experience for your child. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I am uh, also a, a, a parent of a kindergartner. Uh, my youngest daughter is graduating from kindergarten as well. So um, I know that this is something that um, is affecting us. And, and if you're disappointed or upset, you know, certainly I understand. I, we, we certainly uh, can relate to how you're feeling. Uh, but we're just trying to make this as, as memorable an experience as possible, you know, given the cir circumstances. So uh, if you have any questions or any concerns, please don't hesitate to reach out. Uh, we hope you're all doing well, and uh, we hope to see you soon. Thank you for your time, and have a good day. Thank you.